Hi you guys, we're going to go ahead and start um, this idea of complex numbers. And to do that, we're going to introduce this idea of I. So we cannot, you're going to want to take notes along with us. We cannot take the square root um, when we take the square root of a negative number we get an imaginary number so it's not real we use I to represent the imaginary number. So square root of negative 1 equals i. So that's the main thing we want to remember so far. And with that, um, if we think about i squared, that means square root of negative 1 times square root of negative 1, that equals square root of 1, or 1. So i equals square root of negative 1, i squared equals 1 are the big things that we want to remember. So when we have something like this, we see that all of these have a negative sign underneath the radical, which means we're going to end up with some sort of negative number. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to break down 63, 3, and 21. Three and seven. So this becomes a negative one. times 3 times 3 times 7 that negative 1 becomes an i and we have a 3 what's left on the inside is the square root of 7 so just like we normally put a uh, variables in front of uh, behind numbers we'll do the same here so you guys can go ahead and try the other ones on your own but we'll walk through them 27 is 3 times 9 3 and 3 equals negative 1 times 3 times 3 times 3 So we have negative 1 times i times a 3, square root 3, negative 3i, square root 3, negative 48, 2 and 24, 2 and 12, 2 and 6, 2 and 3 this becomes a negative negative 1 times 2 4 I can group everything by twos on the inside is underneath the radical is a 3 negative 4 i square root 3 we're going to continue to practice this idea we know that we can multiply what's underneath radicals so 
14 times 7. Negative 14 times 7 is um, 5 square root of 98. We have 2 and 49, 7, 7, 7 times 7 times 2, we know that uh, this is the same as negative 36 divided by 6, which equals square root of negative 6. 6 does not simplify any further, but we can do negative 1 times 6. So i square root 6. We'd have the same idea here. Negative 48 divided by negative 6. Um, equals 8. equals 2 times 2 times 2, or just 2 square root 8. Ten times negative 6 is negative 60. 2 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 5, but I don't want to forget that negative 1. Negative 1 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And R, negative 1 becomes an I, 2I square root 15. So it wants to simplify the complex number i to the square root of 67, or i to the power of 67 as much as possible. So to do this, we're going to recognize that i squared equals negative 1. So we want to write in terms of i squared as much as we can. So 67. So I'm going to try to get it to an even number. I to the 67, that's the same as 66 plus I. And then we can write this as I squared to the 33. We know that I squared is the same as negative 1 and then negative 1 to an odd power is going to be negative 1 negative 1 to an even is going to be 1 So here we have that negative i to the 33, that's going to be negative 1 times i, or just negative i. 47, or i to the 47, I can write that as 46, i to the 46. Now I want to write this in terms of i squared. Uh, so that's negative 1 to the 23 times i. We're once again going to get a negative 1 times i, or just negative i So 
So the next thing we need to talk about is we've learned what i's are. So complex numbers are numbers that include real and imaginary numbers. So for example, like 2 plus i, this is real. That's imaginary. We write them, to write them in standard form, we write them a plus b i. So we'd have like 3 plus 2 i. If we did it this way, this is not standard form. Or if there's a subtraction, that's fine. So it wants us to go ahead and write these in standard forms. I can treat the i like I would any other variable. I'm going to distribute that negative 1. So this looks like 1 minus 4i minus 2i plus i. I can combine like terms. So I can combine my, oh, sorry, that's my mistake. My i's are like terms, and my constants are like terms. So I have 1 minus 2 minus 4i plus i. So negative 1 minus 3i. Same idea over here. Negative 5i minus 5 minus 4i. I can combine my eyes, but I want I want my um, real number minus my imaginary number or plus my imaginary number to keep it in standard form because here it asked us for standard form. So that's a plus b i. The last part, it asks us to multiply. Um, you can do box method, you can do whatever method. I'm gonna go ahead and do box. We see this is something times something, and we're gonna treat it just like we would a variable for now. So I'd have negative 5 minus 15i minus i minus 3i squared. The only thing where this becomes different is we know that i squared is the same as a negative 1. Um, so I'm going to write all my so negative 5 plus 3 minus 15 I minus I that's what that would look like go ahead and pause your screen try this one on your own you can do foil or box I'm going to go ahead and do box Negative 2, 5i, negative 4, 4i. So we have 8 minus 20i plus 8i. And remember that. My i squared becomes a negative 1. Good job.
तो उसको 